Hello everyone and welcome back to 2K all of Los Angeles my favorite welcome back to 2K14 Universe I'm Jitch and you're watching NXT we're kicking things off with a tag division in singles competition because I don't want to be here all week Rey Mysterio everybody fan favorite finally picked up a win a few weeks ago we'll see if he can get a second one here Now look, listen, I got a lot of love and respect for Rey Mysterio, but I've been saying this for a long time now, and I know this isn't going to be what anyone uh, in the Rey Mysterio fandom would want to hear, but drop Sin Cara. That is what this man needs to do. I've become certain of this. We saw singles competition against David Otunga over the last few weeks. Rey Mysterio beat Otunga. He finally got a win. He might be back on track. We'll see if he can beat DiBiase here tonight. Sin Cara continues his losing ways. Drop him, man. Of course, I could be wrong. <coughs> I'll admit that. He could pick up a win here tonight, but Ted DiBiase actually going to compete here tonight. We rarely ever see the Million Dollar Man in competition on NXT. He's mostly just kind of in the background for King Kong Bundy's matches, but he is a part of the tag team division, let it be reminded. And uh, here tonight, him and Rey Mysterio look to advance in the uh, very small rankings for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Right now, the new champs, uh, Wolf Kessler and... Uh, Tensai. Sorry, I had to think. I went to say Bundy for some reason. Wolfcaster and Tensai, the new tag team champions from the Snake Pit. They need some challenges soon, and it could be one of these two, well, the teams that these two represent here tonight. So here we go. Rey Mysterio and Ted DiBiase, two very, very, very different styles sharing the ring here tonight to kick things off on NXT. And uh, up next, we'll be actually be seeing one half of the NXT tag team champions, Wolf Kessler. He'll be in action. And uh, looking forward to seeing who he takes on and how that goes down for the NXT Tag Team Champion. And then our main event tonight, speaking of tag teams, is all about tag teams here on NXT. We've got ourselves a women's tag team match. There's been a lot of uh, interesting um, potential challenges for AJ Lee as the NXT Women's Champion. From the former champion, Summer Rae, to Layla, who had a great couple matches uh, in recent memory. And of course, Natalya, who defeated AJ Lee last week. We'll hear tonight. AJ Lee teams with Layla to face off against Summer Rae and Natalya uh, in a rare women's tag team match main event here tonight on NXT. Uh, next week on NXT, by the way, I can confirm to you the NXT title will be on the line. Special stipulation to be added. Big E Langston going one-on-one -on -one with Jake Roberts for the NXT championship. We've been told that you know, after two matches between these two, something special needs to be added to this NXT Championship match. It's to be decided what that will be, but uh, we will be able to announce that next week when Big E Langston and Jake Roberts collide. We've also got, coming next week on NXT, uh, normally we'd have like an EYS qualifier, but we're doing things a little bit differently here tonight. I do not like the odds of uh, whoever wins this, but, um, <clears throat> you know, it's a, it's a huge opportunity to be given to a superstar from NXT nonetheless. We'll be having a six-man battle royal next week on NXT, and the winner will be partaking in the 2013 Royal Rumble match. So I can't wait to see which NXT superstar uh, will be the winner of that battle royal and how they will fare in the Royal Rumble matchup. Check the midsection there by Rey Mysterio. There's a scoop slam by Ted DiBiase. And don't forget, we are just, I believe, now 11 days away from the Royal Rumble, which I cannot wait to see who will be the fourth man to ever win the Royal Rumble matchup. Take down there by DiBiase as he goes in for the cover here. Will he put it? No. I was going to say, will he put away Red Mysterio? But the answer to that was simply no. Belly to belly takedown. DiBiase all over Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio really, uh, his momentum has been hurting for a long time now. And, uh, you know, he finally got that victory over uh, David Otunga. I was really hoping that was going to be the start of, uh, you know, kind of a resurgence in Rey Mysterio's momentum. Unfortunately, 
That was very short-lived. And Ted DiBiase picks up a big win here tonight that will help build momentum for him and Bundy to potentially compete for the tag team titles. Well, that is a tough loss for Mr. What is this? Ted DiBiase. Got a one dollar bill in his hand. Why is he holding it? What the hell is? Not very often Ted DiBiase wins a singles. Oh my God! Whoa! Just shoving a dollar in Ray's mouth. Talk about disrespect. Well, as I mentioned before, we don't really see DiBiase picking up victories or even really competing very often. But hey, he got the win here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little more of him in the near future. Congratulations to DiBiase on this win as we move on to our next match here tonight on the next team. Interesting situation here in the NXT, as a matter of fact. Uh, Dusty Rhodes recently approached Ric Flair backstage uh, prior to getting this match with Wolf Kessler tonight. He said, look, you and me, we've never seen eye to eye. we got a lot of history with each other. I don't like you to you like me, but we have been struggling to make it here on NXT. Maybe it's time we work together. Saw how that worked out for us. So Dusty Rhodes has a uh, proposition being a, in a tag team with Ric Flair. And I actually think that'd be pretty interesting, you know. Talk about uh, the legendary rivalry between these two back in a little company called WCW. Uh, they definitely have a lot of history with each other, and I, I don't really think we've ever seen them on the same page, but I think that could be uh, real good for their careers. Wait a minute, this music. Well, this was like a little bit of a low blow. If you don't know whose music this is, Wolf Kester is coming out to here tonight. Well, we were told to forget all about him. This feels... Honestly, a little ominous to be hearing this music again. All I'll say is it was the first man this guy held the NXT Tag Team titles with. You believe Wolf Kester has held that title already with three different people. Pass along to Jake Roberts after the sudden disappearance of his first partner, who I'm not supposed to name. Uh, Jake Roberts could be watching, and I don't think he'd be very happy. And of course, now he is in his second reign as tag team champion alongside Tensai. I think Wolf is very quickly becoming the longest combined days with the NXT Tag Team Championship. And obviously, right now, Tensai and Wolf, they don't really have any challenges on the horizon. But the Snake Pit... Well, that's a hell of a trio, really, isn't it? I think he just kicked Justin Roberts in the back of the head. We might have to give him a raise for that. What a champion. What a sight to behold. The big man is back. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> the big man is back. So here we go, Wolf, oh, Wolf going straight for the takedown here, and I'll tell you what, if Dusty Rhodes was looking to get his career back on track, I think facing Wolf Kessler might have been a mistake. This is a very dangerous uh, newbie here on NXT. And speaking of Wolf Kessler, I wonder if he'll cross paths with the NXT champion Biggie Langston in the future. That's a match we have actually not seen, surprisingly, and I feel like that would be a real good one. Take down there by Dusty Rhodes. And of course, to mention, we've got a pretty stacked episode of NXT next week from the championship match to the Battle Royal. No saying what else will be on that show, admittedly, but oh my god! <laughs> if this was a better game, it'd have gone flying out that ring. But of course, uh, this upcoming Friday on SmackDown will be just nine days away from the Royal Rumble. I cannot believe we're getting so close. Uh, we got a pretty stacked episode of. Uh, Friday Night Smackdown. One thing I'm really looking forward to finding out is will Ryback accept the challenge of Robert Scorpio? Will he bring back the Hardcore Championship at the Royal Rumble event? 
Seems like that was uh, very positively received. It seems like people want to see the hardcore title back on Friday nights. Scorpio made a good point. He has spent a lot of season four just beating Ryback over and over again. And yet it is Ryback who is still the final ever hardcore champion. Pointing out that Ryback simply made that title disappear when ECW closed. Whereas every other championship was admittedly uh, merged in one way or another. The ECW World Debate Championship was merged with the W title and JPL, you know, unified those two. Uh, the ECW Television Championship was merged with the Intercontinental Championship. Cesaro losing that to... I think Cena was the final person to hold that before it was retired. And the tag titles were merged with uh, Shamrock and Big Show defeating, I think it was Kevin Nash and x buck who had only just won the titles at the time to merge those. But the Hardcore title was never merged into any championship like the others. It was simply... Uh, it just kind of went away. It just kind of wasn't seen afterwards. So Scorpio is saying that perhaps Ryback was too afraid that he wouldn't be recognized as the final hardcore champion. Now, unlike a lot of titles that come back from retirement, this will not have <laughs> an extensive, like, what, two years or whatever it's been added to Ryback's hardcore championship reign. I think it's actually one year, not two. <laughs> um, it'll definitely be one year. Uh, but he will not have, like, a, oh, 400-day reign or anything crazy like that as hardcore champion. Uh, this will be uh, considered as, like, a reactivation period. Uh, starting from if he is to win at the Royal Rumble. And that is only if he even accepts the challenge. Be a lot of in Obviously, this Friday on SmackDown as well. Got the Big Show and the Great Khali for the World Championship. Championship. And after seeing the new WWE Champion crowned Randy Orton defeating Goldberg, maybe we'll see a new World Heavyweight Champion as well. Great Khali beating the Big Show. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dusty, no. Dusty, you don't have to do this. Dusty, don't. Please, Dusty, no. Dusty, no. Okay, good. I would have made for a great highlight reel. I'll tell you that much. And Wolf. Oh. Crowned there by Dusty Rhodes. He is looking at it. Dusty Rhodes. Gonna go for the bionic elbow. Winds it up. There it is. The bionic elbow by Dusty Rhodes. As he takes Wolf away from the corner. And he might actually pick up a win over Wolf here. No. No. Not even close. Just a one count. Wolf making it clear that he is still very alive in this match. And that spells disaster for Dusty Rhodes. Wolf Kessler scooping him up for a power bomb. Nope. DDT. Very agile Dusty Rhodes, we all know. And another one. I guess that's one way to neutralize the big man. Just keep dropping him on his head. Oh, go to the chest. I guess he's a little bit of a monster, isn't he? Wolf Kessler. Going for a choke slam. Drops down. And a big... Oh, my God. Huge centaur following that up. He didn't give any time from that choke slam into the sent on. That was smooth. And Dusty kicked out. Holy hell. I thought that was it for sure. Submission hold. Ah, uh, chin lock. Good move to do. It is season four. That is how you win matches. But he had butts out of that one. Strikes coming in from Dusty. Wolf coming in hot still. Catches him from behind, big strike to the back of the head. Doesn't really do a whole lot here, but, you know, uh, damage is damage. And uh, he's got the arms, and he's, he's doing the, the shaky arm thing. And there you go, down goes Dusty Rhodes. Cover attempt. Has Wolf got Dusty beat? No, just a one again. Snapmare. And now Wolf throwing the chin lock back at him. Saying, hey, it is season four, you're right. <laughs> and a headbutt out there. He's striking like crazy. Dusty Rhodes going absolutely wild. I'm glad this match wasn't as short-lived as the first match. I don't know what... I, I mean, initially I was saying drop Sin Cara. I, I mean, maybe he's got to drop him so hard he's got to get that face off the back of his mask. I'm telling you, Sin Cara is a curse. He is ruining Rey Mysterio's <laughs> successful history. Former Intercontinental Champion, US Champion, Cruiserweight Champion. Rey Mysterio, very decorated. Leaping elbow by Dusty Rhodes covering Wolf. He wins. Dusty Rhodes defeats Wolf Kessler here tonight. And maybe this will win Ric Flair over. Maybe he'll have made a point here with this win over Wolf Kessler, potentially securing a tag title opportunity down the line. 
And look at him go. Look at him go. Wolf should get up and join him. I'm telling you. If there's one thing that's funny, it's big man dancing. Dusty Rhodes. Wow. What, a, what an icon. What a legend. Dusty Rhodes picks up the victory as we move towards our main event. AJ Lee. Layla against Summer Rae and Natalia. It is next. Well, 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 here we go. Main event time. This ought to be interesting. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. And I can confirm to you that uh, three of the four women in this tag team matchup will be in a triple threat next week on NXT. Uh, of course, not AJ Lee, but Layla, Summer Rae, and Natalia. They'll be competing in a triple threat next week in NXT. The winner gets a shot at AJ Lee's NXT Women's Championship the very next week. So it could be a very big couple of weeks for Natalia Summer Rae or Layla. I mean, imagine look, Summer Rae, what would that be? A fourth championship win if she could get the title back from AJ Lee. And of course, everybody's favorite theme music, Von Dutton. I mean, Summer Rae's great too, don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a big Summer Rae enjoyer. <laughs> Fan, I don't know why I said enjoyer. Enjoyer makes us sound like I'm being Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a big Summer Rae fan. I, honestly, I always thought Summer Rae was great. I think Summer Rae, someone actually, I want to go on a tangent real quick. I want to say, I don't think people give Summer Rae enough credit, all right? I will forever say she was the leader of a triple, of a trio between her, Sasha, and Charlotte. She was the front of that trio in the early days of NXT, and I thought they were a great trio. Really good. I think Summer Rae doesn't get nearly enough appreciation. Just because when they called her up to the main roster, they completely dicked her over. It's not her fault. She was a very early part of the women's revolution, whether people realize that or not. I feel like her and Emma are two women from NXT that just never get enough credit. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, though. I don't know who these people are. I'll just name a bunch of people. <laughs> Forget about everything I just said. Because here comes Layla. Layla, of course, team with AJ Lee here tonight. But she could be her opponent in two weeks' time on NXT. I really like Layla. I feel like Layla is someone who hasn't had nearly enough of an opportunity. She's been around since season one. I don't think she's nearly had enough of a chance at any championship. Whether it be the former Women's Championship, the former Divas Championship. Well, now the NXT Women's Championship, this is the closest I feel like Layla's been in a very long time to a championship. And obviously, there's going to be some difficulties being on the same team as the current champion. But I think uh, I think Layla and AJ, they can put that aside and they can work together good as a team here tonight. I, I believe in them. Vibids. Whoa. Oh, there we go. That's my PS3. Crashing again. <laughs> what a surprise! Okay, we're back. Forget about AJ Lee's entrance. I thought I would just skip those. It seems like his entrance is where it crashes the most. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I guess the PS3 version of this just crashed a lot. I don't know. I think I actually remember this crashing quite a bit on 360 back in the day, too, to be honest. I mean, for those of you that weren't around for my original series, I did this on 360. Uh... And yeah, I think, I think it crashed quite a lot there, too. You know what? This might be a good opportunity, actually. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. This might this match might be a good opportunity to do one of my favorite things, which is to go over the original uh, card from the 2013 Royal Rumble. I think we're close enough. I think we're close enough that we can do this, you know? I think it would be a, a fun little thing to go back. I haven't uh, updated the wiki in quite some time. Holy, holy moly. I love just creating way too much work for myself, evidently. Uh, okay, so for anyone who wanted to... Oh, whoops, wrong link. Uh, wanted to hear the original... Uh, 2013 Royal Rumble match card and results. I don't remember this at all, so I'm very interested in finding out what happened here. So it kicked off with a 10-minute match. Uh, the Rock retained the Intercontinental Championship against Zack Ryder. That makes sense. Follow-up from TLC. They had a really good match there. 
19-minute World Tag Team title match between the New Age Outlaws defeating Too Cool, Scotty Too Hoodie, and Rikishi for the World Tag Oh, yeah, that's one that wouldn't let me keep the titles on. Uh, Sex A and Scotty. Um... 11 minute triple threat for the US Championship. Kurt Angle retains the US title against Jack Swagger and Chris Jericho. Hey, these these actually sound all right. <laughs> this sounds all right here. Um, Extreme Rules match for the NXT Championship. Cody Rhodes retains against Sin Cara. Wow, that got ran for pretty long. Uh, singles match for the Waterweight Championship. Five minutes. I love how the world title matches are the shortest of the show. <laughs> Five minutes. Uh, Edge retains the Waterweight title against Randy Orton. Uh, in six minutes in a TLC match for the WWE Undisputed Championship, CM Punk defeats Austin Aries. I think that was maybe Punk's first WWE title win in the series. And in the 2013 Royal Rumble match, it says, Christian won by last eliminating Bobby Roode. I do remember Christian being a Royal Rumble winner. Yes, he went on to face Edge at WrestleMania. That's right. And for a Royal Rumble breakdown of who was in the Royal Rumble, this is the name of people in order from 1 to 30. I won't bother going into any of the other details, although they are all here. Um, <clears throat> there's some names here that I uh, would never bring back, but uh, starting from the very first one. But <clears throat> Chris uh, D Diamond Dallas Page was number two. Uh, the Miz was number three. Stone Cold Steve Austin was number four. Scott Hall, five. Kevin Nash, six. Uh, Lesnar, seven. Fucking Del Rio, eight. Uh, Big Show 9, uh, DiBiase Jr. 10, uh, Samoa Joe 11, Randy Savage 12, Mankind 13, Triple H 14, Wade Barrett 15, Gangrel at 16, Cesaro came out 17, Cena came out at 18, Kane came out 19, Shawn Michaels came out 20. By the way, Shawn Michaels lasted 11 minutes in this match. The only other person that lasted that long was Gangrel and unfortunately Del Rio. Oh, and Austin too. Wow, quite a few people lasted 10 minutes. Um, and 21 was Sting. 22 was Tommy Dreamer. 23 was The Sandman. Kind of funny those two were side by side. Uh, James Storm was 24. Sabu was 25. Hulk Hogan was 26. Christian, who won it, was 27. Uh, Ryback was 28. Bobby Roode was 29. Rey Mysterio was 30. Yeah, the longest person... I would just say the longest and the shortest. The longest person in the Rumble was... Shawn Michaels with 11 minutes and 42. And the shortest in the Rumble was... Randy Savage, who was only in for 20 seconds. And the person who got the most eliminations was Christian, who got four and one. So there you go. There's the 2013 Royal Rumble. Let me know if you remember that. Let me know uh, my fun question. Was I cooking? <laughs> was was uh, was was 19-year-old me, was he cooking? Was he, was he doing a good job there? What do we have planned for this year's Royal Rumble? Just so I can, like, talk about what... Then you know you can let me know what cards you like more. If it's the old one, I, I will not be offended, don't worry. That was actually not a bad card, I thought. Uh, Cody Rhodes versus Daniel Ryan for the US Championship. We've got, um... Uh, at the moment, Ryback versus Robert Scorpio for the High Championship is up in the air, but that could be there. Shield versus The Miz and Dolph Ziggler for the WWE Tag Team Championship. The Coalition defend the World Tag Team Championship against the Primetime Players. Oh, two tag title matches, am I crazy? Uh, Big Show, uh, or Great Khali against John Cena for the World of Championship. Cover attempt, is this it? No. Uh, Goldberg, no, no, that's not Goldberg, that's Randy Orton, need to update that. Against Stone Cold Steve Austin for the W Championship. And then, of course, the 30-man Royal Rumble, which I will not be disclosing any of the competitors in. But you will at least know six of them, uh, this Monday on Raw, when they compete in a battle royal. Obviously, you don't know the Royal Rumble match itself, but, you know, let me know which one. Obviously, the thing about the, this Royal Rumble is going to be a little hard to compare since it's not happened yet. But I thought, you know, a tag match, this is a good place to finally look back over that. I got some good feedback last time I did that. People seem to enjoy hearing about the originals. And since I've actually found a way to bring them back, why not? Well, not bring them back, but, like, read them back, I should say. I'm not bringing them back. Those videos are long deleted and they are never coming back. I would not... The thing is, I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again, it got very indie towards the end, which is funny, because I've never watched indies. Um, but I was letting other people influence who I had on my roster, and, uh... <clears throat> that was a bad choice. Um... There's a lot of people I didn't really know much about, or, you know... My viewers didn't know much about. And, uh, it got, it got very messy. Uh... 
Uh, oh, almost. And like, if I could have CAWs, if I, there was like a way, uh, I would probably get some like TNA people, you know, some legends every here and there that like aren't in any of the games and stuff. Like, there are people that I would get, no doubt. For, uh, but I think TNA is like the only company I'd really pick anyone up from and add to like future ones. I know there's more of a modding scene when you get to like 2K19, but I don't think there's really much before then. Because obviously, as soon as I can, because I'm going to be doing- Oh! I'm going to be doing them all off the PC. Uh, I will be modding them when I get the chance, so, you know, you won't always know who's going to be on the roster. I'll be the first to admit that, but... Uh, I don't think that that was really- I don't think the modding scene for the W games was all that big until, like, 19. I never really heard much about it until then. I know the, the mods on 19 are crazy. They're really good. Uh, obviously, it's all going to depend on how active those downloads are uh, many years later as well. Where did Talia go? Well, Summer Rae calling for the end here on Layla, but Layla with the reversal. I just realized that both Layla and Summer do like a kick as their finish. I really like the the layout. I don't know why Layla does a kick as her main finish. The layout was good. Actually, I do know why. Uh, 2012 slash 13 women's division booking. That's why. <laughs> that's the only reason why. Submission hold here. Summer Rae got Layla where she wants her and she could tap, but no. AJ Lee breaks it up. Big strike to the back there, and a drop kick takes down Summer Rae. You know what's wrong with her, Michael? Layla saying, yay! <laughs> I did it! I knocked her down! And Layla with the big kick! Has she got the job done? I think Summer Rae's foot might be in the ropes, but Natalia's gonna break up the pin anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! The take down there by Summer Rae to Layla. As I mentioned before, you can expect this match to go long because it is a tag match. Don't worry, there are no tag matches on SmackDown this week. I've learned my lesson. We've had a tag match on NXT, we've had a six-man to kick off Raw. No tag match on SmackDown, all singles competition. <clears throat> I don't know if I've announced the SmackDown show for this week, but uh, this week on SmackDown, you can look forward to, in this order, uh, Sheamus will be facing Chris Jericho to kick off SmackDown. Uh, Ryback will be facing Zack Ryder. Uh, Titus O'Neil will be facing off against Scott Steiner, and... Oh! Cover there by Layla. There'll be a number one contenders match between Wade Barrett and Ricky Steamboat for the Intercontinental Championship. And in the main event, Big Show faces the great colleague for the World Heavyweight title. But Layla! Gonna point at AJ Lee because they won. That's what you do when you win, you point. So, next week, it will be a triple threat match. Natalia and Summer Rae obviously gonna be very bitter in their loss here tonight. Well, they get to take out those frustrations on each other next week. Triple threat match. It'll be Summer Rae, Natalia, and Layla. The winner will get to face that woman right there, AJ Lee, for her NXT Women's Championship in two weeks' time. I look forward to finding out who's going to be walking out with the NXT Women's Championship shot next week. And better yet, who's going to be the NXT Women's Champion in two weeks' time. AJ Lee has crumbled under her first defense every time she's had a championship. She says this time it will be different. Man, I hope so. But congrats to these two on a big win as we now head towards SmackDown. I'll see you then.